If Russia wanted to wipe the United States off the face of the earth tomorrow, then it definitely could. Russia could very easily render the United States ungovernable and uninhabitable and kill over 100 million people with only around two to 300 warheads. However, Russia has roughly five and a half thousand warheads. The only reason it doesn't use any of them is because doing so is basically suicide. And if this theoretically was to happen, within about a year, roughly half the world's population would be dead. Strong nuclear force. This is the superglue inside the atom's nucleus, which holds the protons, neutrons, and electrons together. When a heavy nucleus like uranium-235 or plutonium-239 splits into two smaller nuclei, you're changing the state of the nucleus into a more tightly bound state. And when the nuclei is split into an even more tightly bound space, the potential energy drops from a higher place to a lower place. Just like when a ball is dropped from a higher gravitational potential to a lower gravitational potential, the difference is released as energy, which is what makes the bomb go Gravitational force. Everything that has mass pulls on everything else with gravity. It's what makes apples fall on big nerds' heads, keep you stuck on your gaming chair, although what keeps you stuck on your gaming keyboard is something entirely different. Electromagnetic force. Charged particles like electrons and protons push and pull on each other, just like how masses do. Without this, electricity, magnets, lights, and all chemical bonding wouldn't work. If a nuclear weapon was detonated in the sky, it would release a huge burst of gamma rays. These gamma rays would knock an electron free in a process called Compton scattering. And now all these electrons would just shoot off at light speed, creating an electromagnetic current in every wire across the entire area. So if that ever does happen, quick little life hack, before you get into your nuclear bunker, make sure you cancel your Netflix subscription because you're obviously not gonna be able to use it anymore. Weak nuclear force. The weak force is a very short range force inside atoms which lets certain particles change types. For example, a neutron changing into a proton. It powers the sun's nuclear reactions and it's also the source of deadly radiation poisoning after a nuclear meltdown or bomb. Normal force. The supportive push that a surface gives you. When you stand on the floor, the floor pushes you up so you don't fall through it. However, when your mum stands on the floor, Static friction, the grip that keeps two surfaces from sliding past each other when at rest. This is due to the microscopic interlocking and roughness between two surfaces. Kinetic friction, the resistance you feel when two surfaces slide against each other. It's what slows down a sliding book or makes you wear out your brakes. Tension force, the pulling force transmitted by a string, rope, cable, or chain when it's stretched tight by pulling forces acting at each end. Spring force, the push or pull from a squashed or stretched spring. The harder you compress a spring, the stronger it pushes pushes back. When I was younger, I used to think that a gun would have a really tight spring inside that would get released when you pulled the trigger. Air resistance. The cushion of air pushing against something moving through it. Sometimes this can be so strong that it causes asteroids to set fire when they enter an atmosphere. Buoyant force. Upward push that fluids give an object within it. It's why boats float and balloons rise. Centripetal force. The inward pull needed to make something move in a circle. Like the tension in a string when you whirl a weight around your head, keeping it from flying off. Centrifugal force. An apparent force you feel pushing you outward when you're in a turning car. It's not a real force, but your body's tendency to keep moving straight. Coriolis force. An apparent deflection of moving objects like wind or ocean currents when you're on a rotating surface like Earth. Or if you're a flat earther, then this is just a force invented by NASA to get you to believe the Earth is round. Euler force. Very sideways push you feel when a rotating system slows down or speeds up. Magnetic force. The pull or push between magnets or moving electric charges. Dark energy, a mysterious repulsive effect filling up space, causing the expansion of the universe to speed up. It's like a gentle push everywhere between all the galaxies. Casimir force, a tiny attraction between two uncharged metal plates placed extremely close together in a vacuum. It's caused by fluctuations of the quantum vacuum itself. Yukawa force, a short range force named after physicist Hideki Yukawa that models how particles in a nucleus interact with each other by exchanging heavy messenger particles. Entropic force, an apparent force arising from a system's tendency to increase its disorder or entropy. For example, the elasticity of a stretched rubber band partly comes from this. Capillary force, the pull of a liquid climbing up narrow spaces, like water climbing up a thin glass tube 
or plant roots drawing water up. It's due to surface tension and adhesive attraction to the walls. Pressure force, the push of a fluid in all directions. For example, water pushing on the walls of a submerged submarine or the air pushing in all around you. Fun fact, every square inch of your body has around 15 pounds of air pressing on it, which is the same weight as a bowling ball. Magnus force, the sideways push of a spinning object through a moving fluid. It's the same reason why someone was able to make at least $60,000 off of YouTube by throwing a spinning ball off a cliff. Cohesive and adhesive forces. Cohesive forces stick things together between similar molecules, like for example, water molecules sticking together. And the adhesive forces is the attraction between different molecules, like water clinging to glass. Osmotic force. The push or pull when a solvent like water moves through a semi-permeable membrane from a dilute to a concentrated solution. It drives processes like water uptake by plant roots. If you like that video, then don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you didn't like it, then I promise you it has nothing to do with my terrible your mum jokes and has everything to do with the camera quality. I'm raising a couple hundred dollars to go towards a fancy schmancy camera and if you want to show off your massive wealth but you don't want to be a good person and donate to charity then you can always donate to a YouTuber instead. Link in the description and piss off. Bye!